Mr. Speaker, Putin's actions over the past week are appalling for all of us who stand for peace, security and democracy. I would like to send my very best to President Zelensky, Minister Reznikov and the Ukrainian people for their strong resistance against Putin's ruthless aggression and unnecessary war. I know that many Canadians are watching the horrible attacks by Putin on the Ukrainian people, and they want to know how they can help and what we as a government are doing to help them. Threat not only to the people of Ukraine, but also to global safety and stability, Mr. Speaker. In the face of this brutal assault on the Ukrainian people, our support for Ukraine is unwavering. From day one, Canada has been there for the armed forces and the people of Ukraine. We have consistently supported Ukraine and our NATO allies in the face of this unprovoked aggression by Russia. Provided lethal and non-lethal equipment to bolster their defenses. Canada has pledged millions of dollars in defensive military equipment to Ukraine. First, $23 million delivered since 2015. Second, $10 million delivered earlier this month, including sniper rifles and ammunition. Third, just yesterday, Minister Joly and I announced an additional $25 million in non-lethal aid including night vision gear, helmets, body armor. These items have been specifically requested by the Ukrainian government, and we are stepping up to meet their needs alongside our allies. Now, to support the delivery of aid and to contribute to NATO efforts in Europe, Canada is also providing two C-130J tactical airlift aircraft for a minimum of two weeks. One of these aircraft departed Canada for Europe today, and the other will follow later this week. And at the request of Ukraine, and in coordination with NATO allies, we announced today that we are committing additional lethal aid to Ukraine, including at least 100 anti-tank weapon systems and 2,000 rockets which are working to deliver as quickly as possible in the coming days. We are also reinforcing our support for NATO's eastern flank by extending Operation Reassurance. Canadian Armed Forces has delivered well over 700 training sessions throughout Operation Unifier, Canada's military training mission in Ukraine. And in addition, we have 3,400 soldiers at the ready in case they are called up by NATO to serve for our alliance in a defensive and deterrent posture, Mr. Speaker. Canada is not alone in this mission to help Ukraine. NATO allies are more united than ever. The world has become a dangerous place, and while these dangers can feel far away to Canadians, these are tumultuous times and we must unite as a country and redouble our efforts to support our allies. We stand with the people of Ukraine. We will continue to support them in the face of unwarranted Russian aggression. Slava Ukraini. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you.